Hello, everyone. We're back with another episode of LMS Cast. I'm Joshua Millage, and I'm joined today with Christopher Badgett, and we're talking about marketplace clones. We get a lot of requests for people from people who are uh, who hit us up and ask, "Can Lifter LMS be like Udemy?" And Udemy was funded with how many millions of dollars, Chris? I believe it was forty million dollars. For forty million dollars, and uh, so the answer is uh, possibly. <laughs> not at the current state, but it possibly can become a Udemy clone um, or what we would call marketplace clone. We don't want to single out Udemy. There's other marketplaces out there. Um, it's an awesome idea. I love the people who have that ambition and that drive to go out and build something and connect teachers and allow them to post their courses and then bring in the audience. Like it's an ambitious goal for the, the people that want to create this. Um, and it requires a lot of technical development that's just cr- frankly not available right now in Lifter LMS. So um, I can see us going that direction and adding those features. But Chris, what what's di- let's dive into the psychology here. Like why is Lifter LMS still a better option than trying to do the Udemy thing or marketplace thing? Well, I guess I would start with the very power of WordPress itself and the concept of a disruptive innovation. Mm. And when something disrupts a marketplace or is, uh, you know, really just shaking things up in an industry, what it's doing is it's taking something that was previously either very expensive, time consuming, or just took a lot of crazy effort and collaboration to pull off and makes that easier and more accessible. So Mm -hmm. if we look at WordPress itself, which is at the core of, uh, you know, a huge ecosystem in the Internet, like 20 to 25 percent of the Internet at this point, we see that WordPress has democratized publishing and as a platform for development. And what that means is it just puts that power in the hands of normal, everyday people like you and I to, to publish, to but if we just let's let's take LMS and e-learning off the table for a second and just look at blogging and publishing and putting content out there, mm-hmm. uh, even even major players now like CNN uh, run their blogs and their online presence off of WordPress. And the reason for that is is WordPress just came in and brought the tools to the people on hey, if you want to publish content online. Here you go. It's not so hard and it's not so expensive anymore. So that's just the basic concept of the disruptive innovation. Right. Yeah. And I think that what you can do with WordPress now is so far beyond what it was a few years ago. It's really become a web development, web application framework. And Matt Mullenweg, who is the creator of WordPress or one of the creators of WordPress, has made that statement. And so we're only going to see more tools and, and methods and libraries and things come out for WordPress to make it a much more dynamic platform. And I think that's important to note when it comes to learning management systems because learning management systems cannot be simply blogs. They need to be more dynamic. They need to have interaction and things like, uh, you know, courses or uh, quizzes and things that require a little bit more back and forth. And so I've seen some pretty incredible things be developed on WordPress, chat clients and Facebook clones and that sort of thing. So we're not that far away from what we what we you know started talking about which was marketplace kind of uh, clones or or that sort of thing and and bringing that technological innovation down to the individual who wants to create a marketplace around say a topic area like gardening or something like that which is essentially what you've done in a totally different way um, and I think if you had to do it all over again you'd probably do, use Lifter LMS right. Yeah, and I'll, be, I'll be transitioning Organic Life Guru to Lifter LMS shortly. But I've seen this before. Like we're talking about, we get this request from uh, people that they want to build a WordPress powered learning management system that functions like Udemy, which is a forty million dollar uh, VC funded uh, startup that's more evolved at this stage. But um, you know, like. You would, like Lifter LMS is like, you know, a three figure plugin. Mm-hmm. It's it's not a it's not a multi million dollar <laughs> plugin that you can buy and install on your site. But the, hey, that's the power of disruptive innovation. Even in the um, uh, like the crowd crowdfunding space, for example, you can see a lot of really amazing WordPress themes and plugins emerging that do crowdfunding just like Kickstarter. Mm-hmm. And I bet I don't know the 
uh, backstory of Kickstarter as an organization, but I bet they had a lot more investment than oh, just yeah. a WordPress theme and a WordPress plugin. Uh, but now people are asking us for this in the e-learning or the WordPress LMS space. And the answer is it's it's close. We're not quite there yet to the, some of the features that uh, Udemy has, but in the hands of the right developer, you could get there very quickly. And mm -hmm. I think it's important to, to take note of that. Um, you mentioned that uh, WordPress is also a platform for development. Right. At Codebox, the company that we own, there's uh, a lot of our clients, we build WordPress sites and we do heavily customized stuff where we're building themes from the ground up. Mm -hmm. uh, we're building custom plugins, custom functionality for the ground, from the ground up to meet the needs of the client. Uh, and maybe they have really deep Infusionsoft integration needs mm -hmm. and uh, really custom Infusionsoft work that needs to happen. We'll bring that in too. It's very custom uh, and, and we make that happen. Mm -hmm. But the uh, at the end of the day, uh, there's a big difference between like starting with like a $50 theme or a $200 plugin uh, or a $50 plugin to, you know, what is custom development. Does custom development need to cost forty million dollars? In most cases, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. You can get rolling with a, a WordPress, WordPress installation and uh, you know some really solid development help to take your vision and and bring that into code and bring that into an actual functional platform. Yeah. So I just want to encourage people who are looking for an e-learning solution or a WordPress powered learning management system to really you know unpack that difference between three things buying the plugin and doing it yourself on your wordpress theme uh buying that plugin and you know having another developer uh do something with it to kind of customize it maybe tweak it a little bit or just do the tech part mm -hmm. and then getting you know more high-end development help kind of like what we offer mm -hmm. where you can take it to a whole another level and build software on top of that or just customize it in a much deeper way so mm -hmm. Uh, but you're not going to need $40 million in investment capital to do that. Right, uh, right. And that's the power of disruptive innovation. Yeah, I, I think that's a great point to make. I mean, you can come, you can do, you can make a platform that could compete with Coursera or Skillshare or Udemy or something like that with WordPress and a plugin like Lifter LMS for $20,000, $50,000, significantly less, an order of magnitude less than what they did um and and that's just the development of course you'd have marketing expenses if you truly wanted to compete but i think it puts it in perspective the cost of, of building something like that with a framework like wordpress and lifter lms has significantly dropped the cost and uh i think it's awesome i mean and we build that stuff all the time and it's so much fun to build uh, these platforms that truly change the 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 fundamental foundation of how a business functions. I know that we've done that for a couple of our clients, and it's been cool. It's been really cool to see that that shift take place. So, awesome, man. Well, do you have any final thoughts for the the folks at home listening or in their car? <laughs> um, I would just say that you know a lot of that forty million dollars in investment capital and venture capital. It's not just about the product and the software and the innovation. It's also about the marketing and the influence of the uh, VCs or angel investors or what have you. So if you do want to build a seriously enterprise level learning management system powered on WordPress, you can do it. It's not just about the tech though. It's also about your marketing chops and your mm -hmm. ability to penetrate a market and get that mass market drive or really, you know, exploit a vertical where you want to offer your educational material. So uh, as we've mentioned in a previous episode, um, true entrepreneurship is a really almost half and half blend between marketing and innovation. So if you're going to go deep on the innovation side, make sure you go deep on the marketing side too. Yeah, that's good. Awesome. Well, until next time, we'll talk to you then.